So now what we want to do is create a video model. And what this means is our any call is no longer going to be any, but rather it's going to map to our video. Um, so the components and the things that are in video. So like in this, it's going to map to this. And that's essentially the purpose for it. Now, the reason you would do this is to ensure that what you're working with is actually one of those components um, versus any. Any doesn't have any real inherent idea behind it. That means it could be any type. What we want to do is make it this a list of the type video. So to do this, we're going to make a new file in here called video.ts. So it's the video model, right? So video.ts and we're just going to do export class video item. I'll just call it video item. And then now we're going to give it some parameters. So we have a slug, which is a string. We had a name, which is also a string. We had an embed, which was also a string. And then let's actually look at the JSON. We have image, which is also a string featured, which is a Boolean value. Okay. So image also a string. And finally featured a Boolean. Well, let's leave it as Boolean. Okay, so these are the items here. Now embed um, and featured both were optional. So if we came back into our videos, we see that this embed is null. It's actually written out as null. So that means it's optional. And then featured is also optional because this one doesn't even have it. So that means going back into our model, we just put little question marks after. There we go. And we could do that on image. We could do it on pretty much any value that may be optional from our backend, right? Um, just so there's no errors that are happening. Okay, so now we've got this video item. Let's go into our video list component and we're gonna bring it in. So import video item from dot dot videos dot video. And that's it. So that's our import. And this is so I can come in here, put this as video item, this is video item. And now that's an array of video items. And that's that. So let's go back into our list. Let's make sure that we're serving up oh, we got a we got a little compile error here. So let's go back into video TS. Seems like we had a compile error at 17 or th line three up oh, there we go semicolon instead of a colon ah love angular's checking it's just really really good okay so we save it again it will compile again and now it's giving that same error let's try to refresh it one more time uh looks like it might be okay but while it's doing that let's go ahead and bring this video item into our video detail because it's the same thing we're still using that video item so again, video here will be video item and then this data and we'll put it as video item. Search components, same thing, bring in our video item. And again, video list, video item. There we go. Perfect. Looks like it compiled fine. We go back into our search or our list and there we go. So it's actually compiled fine. Everything's looking good. Um, the next thing obviously would be that home component. We didn't actually change that at all. Um, so instead of going through the entire thing on the home component and adding its own feature, because again, that would be done on the back end. I'm just going to go ahead and grab the list itself. So I'm going to grab the service and the list. So coming in here, first of all, the video service. So I'll just say private and underscore video, video service, of course, providers, and video service. There we go. In this case, I will just say um, this should be underscore video list. And then instead of data.json or JSON, I'll just do filter. Compiles fine. We go back to the home. Looks like things are looking just fine. So now, since those are looking good, I'm gonna go ahead and change the home image list to being 
simply video item type. So we save that and it compiles fine. I refresh on my homepage and it's saying it can't read uh, push of undefined. So this is um, just saying uh, that it is of that type. It's not necessarily saying that it is that type. So what I'll do is I'll just say this dot home item list equals to, um, well, I'll first off just put a video item in there and it's not letting me do that. So I'll put it equal to an empty array as video item and there we go. So it's now working. So let's actually try this up here instead. Save that and it's working. So we've got video in there. Um, so let's go ahead and add a new featured one into one of our JSON data. We'll add item two as featured, we'll save that. It refreshes on its own and item two is now in there. Of course, if I click on this, it takes me to the video list. It doesn't actually take me to the item itself, but that's not really what I'm fixing right now. Okay, cool. So that's it for the video model itself. This is the syntax of it. So again, these are optional values. Um, I purposely did not have a featured item on here because, well, you should see that it still works as it was. It just changed a little differently. Um, and I will say that you could also use the same method on the search instead of having its own sort of like method itself, right? You could do the search here. Um, but I will also say that it might be advantageous to have a featured list item, but I would say do that once you have a backend service. So this call is literally a get call, oops, not that one, but, it, or well, actually that one too. Any of these are just literally a get call and you're just mapping the response. You're not actually changing the response much, if at all. Okay, so that's it for this. Let us know if you have questions. Otherwise, let's keep going.